Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Pawan. In the today's video, I'm going to talk about IT jobs without programming. No coding jobs in IT. So many people, if they want to start career in IT industry, especially they will always look for two options, either software development or software testing. But apart from these two, there are so many other options or other jobs also available in IT industry. So especially when you go over software development or software testing, programming is required. So how to do some coding. But initially, when you start career in software testing, you don't need any code. But once you start automation testing, you have to learn the coding part. So even though if you go as a developer, as a tester, you have to do the coding. So programming is required. You have to learn the programming. But many people, they don't like to or they don't like to do coding part and they don't like any programming languages even though some of them they know the programming languages they don't like to do the coding but for them especially what are the different it jobs are available in the market and what are the skills they required to get those type of jobs so in this video i'm going to discuss about all those types of jobs and especially people we don't like coding and they don't know any coding and uh, other than programming without using any programming. So what are the other jobs are available? So what are the skills are required to get those types of jobs? So I'm going to discuss them in the today's video. So now let me show you uh, here. I have listed out almost 12 different type of jobs in ID. So they don't need any programming or they don't need any coding. So even though if you don't like coding part, so you can still, uh, improve your skills on these and uh, you can get these type of jobs and the people who are coming from IT and as well as people who are coming from non IT, So both are eligible to get these type of jobs. Okay. So now let me discuss one by one. So the first job is QA or test engineer, QA or test engineer, QMS quality assurance or test engineer, especially QA or test engineer is a beginner level job in software testing. And basically they do only manual testing. So initially they don't directly start automation testing. So initial days, when you start getting in software testing, they do the manual testing. So to do the manual testing, you don't need any programming language and you should just have some basic skills on documentation, like how to work with the word Excel PowerPoint and some basic tools are required or test management tools or agile management tools. So if you know some basic tools, you can still uh, get a job as a QA engineer or test engineer. So to perform manual testing, you don't need any programming skills. And the people who wanted to start career in software testing, initially they will choose this particular option. But if you want to survive in the long term in IT sector, especially software testing, you have to learn the automation along with the programming. So QA or test engineer, especially manual tester, doesn't require any programming. There's a first job which is available. The second one is a scrum master. And this is a specific role, which is there in companies, most of the companies and the companies, uh, over, uh, whichever companies are following agile process, there should be some scrum, scrum master. So scrum master is not a developer. Scrum master is not a tester. Is the kind of a different role. So basically the scrum master will collaborate the teams, whichever the belongs to the particular project, like development, tester, product manager, Right, so all these people will collaboratively work together towards one goal. So the scrum master main role is what uh, the scrum master collaborate with all these teams and uh, the scrum master will motivate them and scrum master will try to solve the issues during the project progress and the scrum master should will pre, uh, will conduct some meetings, some meetings on day to day basis and check the status of the project. And if there is any loopholes, he will think about how we can overcome those loopholes and what are the uh, improvements uh, needed for that project. So all those things will be taken care by the Scrum Master. And this is a specific role. And even this role is also doesn't require any programming concept or any technical knowledge. So mainly the communication skills should be good and uh, collaboration skills. And you should be able to free to move to everyone. So because he's a guy, he's communicating with each and every team and uh, he's trying to analyze the issues. He's trying to uh, 
solve the issues or he is trying to improve the process and all those things will be taken care by the scrum master and that's the second uh, type of job and which doesn't need any programming or coding so next one is a business analyst and this is also a very important role and nowadays there are so many openings are there for business analyst and basically the business analyst will analyze the business like suppose if every company need some project right so when the companies will grow the company will grow if the company get more number of projects but how it will get more number of projects so there are so many clients should be approached in the id company right so if the company get more number of clients obviously the company will get more number of projects but how company will get more number of clients so there will be some business analyst so these people will analyze the business these people will identify the clients and these people will identify the client requirements so accordingly they will talk to the clients and uh, make them uh, try to understand the uh, business and what are the operations they are doing in the client locations and they will get those requirements and based on that they will uh, communicate with the developer tester and uh, other project and product managers and get the things be done so the main business analyst role is he will analyze the business how business is performing is it performing well or is not performing well and where exactly we need to do improvements on the business and especially a business in the sense software a project related business like how many projects are coming into the company and how many projects are completed and how clients are responding towards your project how well we have done the project so what is your client feedback about that particular completed projects so all those things will be taken care by the business analyst so basically this guy is analyze the business process and even this role is also doesn't require any coding or programming knowledge just you should have a communication skills analytical skills and uh, uh, most of the times this guy will travel because uh, there are many clients will be there so you should travel and you should meet many number of clients and try to understand their business and accordingly he will plan a uh, software and uh, then they he will communicate again the company related people like product managers and product managers and so on and get the things done so that is the main job of business analyst so the next one is technical writer and this is also a more popular job technical writer which is also called as content writer and these people are very much required especially software or it industry because for every software or every product required certain documentation like user manuals and everything right so these people are responsible for writing the documentation of the products or softwares suppose if you buy any product right if you just say let's say you buy some mobile right so along with this mobile device you will get some kind of user manual some kind of documentation right so the technical writer job is to prepare the user manuals and documentation about the software and products and those people are called technical writers so the technical writers should know the uh, features or functionality of the software or functionality of the application but he no need to know the coding part but he have he should know the how exactly software is working and how exactly the product is working so accordingly he will take the all input from the developers tester product manager from everyone and he will prepare the documentation and user manual so those people are called technical writer or content writers and these people are also having lot of demand in the current market and these people don't uh, need to learn any programming or coding they are technical writers and what are the skill set they these people should have is they these people should have a documentation skills good documentation skills presentation skills designing skills okay and uh, language oriented skills specific language they should have a good command on the specific language so these are all skills which are required for technical writer and these guys uh, doesn't need any programming or coding now next one is ui designer and ux designer ui designer ux designer so ui is nothing but a user interface designer user interface design ux is nothing but user experience designer user experience designer a small difference is it both are related to web designing part and both are comes under web developers but uh, these guys uh, don't need to know any programming like ui ui designer means uh, he will take care only on the design part how exactly applications looks like 
whether it is very attractive or not. Okay, and go, very good attractive colors are used or not. Good font is used or not. Alignment of the uh, elements or element uh, alignment of the objects in the web application. So these things will be taken care by the UI designers. Basically, these people will design the user interface because as a user, if I want to use any application, the first thing is user interface. I'll always interact with the user interface. If the user interface more attractive, then I can use the application more and more, right? And that is taken care by the UI designer, user interface designer. So even these guys uh, don't need any programming skills, but he should have some designing skills. There are certain tools are available. By using those tools, they will design the UI. So if, you, if they are aware of those tools, they can easily design the user interface. So even user interface designer also don't need any coding skills. The next one is a user experience designers. So what is the role of user experience designer is they will basically take care of uh, uh, user feedback. Suppose UI designer is developed something or UI designer is designed some UI and how exactly the client or user is feeling about that UI that is taken care by UX designers. So if there is any changes needed, they will suggest. And if there are any modifications are required, then UX designers will change it. And basically UX designers will uh, make like wireframes kind of things. And based on that, UI designers will design the UI. And UX is basically user experience. So before designing the software, user will get the uh, UI de UX designer will get the requirements and understand the requirements from the customer accordingly. They will prepare a small uh, mock designs. We can we can also say prototypes, and accordingly, UI designer will develop the real user interface. So these two roles are basically design related to web applications or user interface related or web development or web designing related. And these people also don't need any coding skills. And there are certain tools are available in the market designing tools. And if they learn those design designing tools, they can easily. Uh, get a job in UI or UX designer. And uh, next type of job is data analyst. Data analyst. So basically the name itself, he says, this guy is always analyze the data. And this particular role especially belongs to a uh, business intelligence job. Like if you are working with a business intelligence tool or any reporting tools, those people are called data analyst. So the main role of data analyst is they will analyze the data and accordingly, the business decisions will be taken. Suppose they will take the data from one company during certain period of time. And uh, he will analyze the data and accordingly, whether the company is doing business great or not. So accordingly, based on data, they will decide. So if data is not that much good, then he will propose certain number of solutions. And accordingly, the business uh, people or the company people will try to improve the business and they will take decisions or they will change their decisions. So that and all happen uh, based on the data. And we will analyze this data as data analyst. So data analyst will analyze the data. So basically the role of data analyst is they will collect the data, uh, business data, and during particular period of time, like or quarterly or half yearly or yearly, they will take the data and analyze the data accordingly. He will provide the results in the form of reports and the graphs Right. Accordingly, the company management will take the decisions. They may they can improve the uh, company. Uh, they improve the process and they improve the other things to grow the business. And these things will happen by data analyst. So that's the main role of data analyst. And what are the skill set that he should have is the data analyst uh, should know certain number of tools, especially BI tools, business intelligence tools, and uh, then you will able to get the job as a data analyst. And uh, some tools require some basic mathematics and some tools do doesn't require anything. And these guys may work on different uh, kind of domains. Like some people will be there in uh, machine learning and some people will be there in uh, uh, like a neural network and some people will be there in artificial intelligence. So these are all technologies works based on the data only. So data, data analyst role will be in everywhere. So wherever the data is there, data analyst is required to analyze the data. So this is also a preferable job if you don't like a coding part. And uh, the next one is product or project manager. Even this guy also 
don't need any technical or don't need any programming language so product manager basically managing the product so he will define the features in the product he will come most of the times he will communicate with the client and get the requirements and uh, accordingly he will design the product so how product should be how product should work according to client requirements the product manager will decide accordingly the developers uh, will develop the product and testers will test the product and uh, if the product manager is approved and finally then the product will be released to the client or customer so that is the main role of product manager and uh, even this role is also don't need any programming or coding but he should have a good communication skills he should able to communicate with all kinds of people like developer testers client and higher management and everyone because he is a main per uh, main person to understand the real requirement from the customer or clients okay so that's a very very important role because if you suppose if the product manager is not properly collected the requirements or the requirements which are collected is not correct then what happens even development testing also will go wrong so the initial step when software development is started the initial step will start from the product manager because this guy will always try to interact with the client and get the required requirements from the client and accordingly the development testing will happen so that is the main role of product manager and he should have a skill set on analyzing more products more creative mindset he should have like what exactly market is uh, expecting for what exactly client is expecting in the software what are the market requirements because some products will be developed based on the market requirements so how people are uh, expecting what are the different products uh, and what are the different features should be there so these uh, kind this kind of uh, skill set the product manager should always have and project manager is something little bit different a project manager means he will manage the project team so he will allocate the project to the team and he will take care of uh, team members and he will take care of their appraisals they will take care of uh, their uh, skill set uh, okay and uh, performance appraisals all those things will be taken care by the project manager so basically the project manager may manage uh, more than one projects and uh, team which are belongs to that project also will be taken care by the project manager and uh, that is also related to management related role and uh, they don't need any programming or coding skills and the next one is client manager and this is another role which is very very important client manager means what suppose if there is any product or project is started the project is developed for specific client the company will develop the software for the specific client and there should be some person who will take care of client and he is a person who is acting as a mediator between the company and the client so he is called as a client manager so he is the guy we always talk to the client and uh, and manage all the stuff in the client locations and especially these guys will work on the client locations but we are these people are representing the actual companies but working in the client locations because they want to understand the uh, client or customer environment culture and what they are doing what exactly they are expecting and how our product is working on their environment is there any issues or they are facing all those things they will analyze client managers so many times these client managers will take the calls uh, from between the developers testers and the customers so they will basically organize the calls and if there are any loopholes or any issues they will try to resolve and they will try to communicate with the developer and testers and get them resolved so that's the main role of client manager and many times these client managers will try to travel a lot and uh, many times these client managers will always work on the client environment only and the next one is software sales representative so this is also another important role a uh, very important job and this is also don't need any coding or programming software sales representative means what these people are comes under marketing related or sales related people and suppose there is a product or there is software is developed right so there should be some people they want to represent the software they want to sell the software to the customer and if the customer want to sell the software they should know about the software what is the use of software where exactly they can use what are the different features are there how we can uh, 
uh, overcome this uh, their business processes how they can automate this business processes using the software how much effort they can reduce by using the software so all these things uh, somebody should explain to the customer and these people are responsible for that so these people are always representative or represents the software and these people should know in and out of the software how the software exactly works and what is a uh, what is the use of software where exactly the software should be used so all these things these people should know and these people are the direct interact uh, with the customers and clients and they will try to uh, educate them regarding the software so they will try to educate them and they will explain everything what is there in the software in and out so accordingly if the customer or client is impressed then uh, they can buy the software and automatically the sales will be increased so these people also will be there and these people don't need any coding skills but they have to know the end to end the functionality of the application that's more important they are software sales representatives and the next one is a graphic designer and this is also another role which is also important in the nowadays especially a graphic designers are basically uh, design some kind of images or videos which are required for your applications or which are required for your softwares and these set of people should have a creative uh, creative mind and uh, they are good in drawing or they are good in, uh, they are good in designing the uh, pictures or designing the images designing the videos all these things uh, they should uh, aware of it so if they have these kind of skills uh, if you have these kind of skills definitely you can try with a graphic designer jobs and this role is also very important in it industry and they don't need any programming skills but they have to know certain tools graphic designing tools especially okay and then you can try with the graphic designer role and uh, next one is system administrator system administrator is basically taking care of uh, hardware systems and the components accessories all those things in the companies and they don't need any programming skill but they will know the hardware related part most of them they will work on the computers connections and uh, accessories uh, if they if something is uh, not working fine they will try to rectify the hardware devices and uh, they have to know the uh, how exactly system so internally works and uh, how connections works and cable system internet all these things will be taken care by the system administrators and almost in every company even if a small organization system administrators are required and uh, database or network administrator so database administrator is different than network administrator so database administrator is basically uh, taking care of the database systems or database servers so if you are working in a company all the developers testers who are is working on the particular project they need to access the databases and the databases is always having the sensitive data and huge data so these database servers will be remotely located and all other team members will be able to access the data from those databases so these databases machines will be different remote available many of them are linux or unix servers and uh, databases creation databases the data population and accessing the database or giving the access on the database to the testers or developers or other users will be taken care by the database administrator so if there is any issues in the database related the people will always approach to the database administrator and creating accounts on the database provide those account logins to the users these things will be taken care by the database administrator and this is some separate role and if you learn the database administration you will be able to apply for this job and there is no coding is required for this and next next one network administrator this is almost related to uh, system administrator role so some of the company system administrators themselves they will take care of network administration basically they will take care of internet connections maintaining the different servers dumping the data in multiple servers so all those things will be taken care by the network administrators and these people should have a good knowledge on operating systems especially unix or linux and uh, a network some networking concept how exactly internet works how exactly network works so some network related uh, concepts also they should be able to aware of it so these are all different uh, uh, technologies are there even database network administrators so they should know some basic operating system concepts and some tools and they will able to apply for this job and they don't need any programming or coding skills okay so these are the different it jobs which are available in it industry especially 
and if you don't like coding or if you don't know any programming so many people always look for either testing and development and not only those two roles there are so many other roles also there and you guys also focus on those particular roles and those particular jobs and if you go as a developer tester you need to put a lot of effort okay you have to learn them multiple tools you have to learn but if you trying to apply for these type of jobs you don't need to spend much time actually if you learn one or two tools and you can easily get these it jobs even you are coming from non it background also you are eligible for getting these type of it jobs especially these tools are or these it jobs are preferable for people who are coming from non it background okay or they have some experience on non it but they are want to they want some job in it and then you can look for these type of jobs but many people the problem is they want to they have some non it background and they have long gap and uh, or they don't like any coding but they want to start career in it but when you, when you select either developer or testing you have to learn the programming part that is the biggest problem for them suppose if you want to get an it job but at the same time you don't want to learn any coding or you are not interested on in coding so then you can look for these particular it jobs okay so that's all for this video guys in the next video i will talk about another concept so thanks for watching